mechanical engineering which with the opportunity to specialize in a whole variety of uh, disciplines ranging from advanced materials to biomedical so think for example hip replacement joints think of knee joints aerospace speciality so uh, uh, traditionally we associate aerodynamics with aircraft but uh, a lot of uh, Formula One racing cars, for example, aerodynamics is the most important design driver. There will be jobs in four or five years' time which don't exist at the present time, whereas a lot of parents actually ask, ask the question, what, what job will my son or daughter do in four years' time? That job may not exist. Some of our graduates will, will be creating new products which actually define the jobs of the future. It will involve computational engineering. It will involve artificial intelligence. That's a, that's a definite. For now, the industry has what we call stagnant. So there's a lot of things that has been done before by the people. So what companies tend to look into for new blood is innovations and creativity. So first, the student to lecture ratio is good. So over here, we are dealing with a group of 40 to 50 to one lectures, but then in UK it's normally one to 250, so that's five times more. As a mechanical engineer, uh, all the courses that I learned in UK and over here is actually very crucial because first we need to learn about the fundamental of engineering, all the foundations, structures and fluid analysis, all those stuff I have been applying in my work as well. Eagerness to learn is everything, but uh, we want good mathematical skills because mathematics is the primary language of engineering. Engineers don't work with their hands, they work with their brains. <laughs> 